What's in the box? Well, I actually don't know. I have a slight idea, but this is gonna be full of surprises and we're gonna open it up together. Hey guys, welcome back to another Black Magic Craft unboxing and review. Well, really this is not a review video because there's no real product involved. Today I'm gonna to be opening this mystery box that was sent to me by a viewer and we're gonna discover the surprises inside together. A bit of context, bit of backstory. There is a channel that I watch regularly called Blanco, and it's a channel where a dude basically just shows his cheap D&D miniature finds. He goes to thrift stores, he orders stuff online, he buys Chinese factory seconds, and he shows all the interesting and unique little cheap minis that can make great D&D Figures. He recently did a video where he showed a Star Wars toy that he bought on clearance. I had seen the same Star Wars toy on clearance and for whatever reason decided not to buy it and I regretted it and I left a comment saying that and we got to talking uh, and he offered to send me that toy because he had an extra one and I said it was it really wouldn't be worth the shipping price. However, he decided to instead box up a bunch of stuff and send it to me just to check out. And he said he didn't want anything in return for it. He didn't want me to shout out or anything like that. But come on, I'm gonna give the guy a shout out because he sent me this box and paid a ridiculous amount for shipping on it, but also because it's a channel that I really, really like watching. So go check out Blanco. I'll put a link in the description below. Mystery box, I, I can't wait any longer. Let's just, let's just go open it. All right, I'm super excited to tear into this one. I know it's gonna be very random. Don't really know what to expect other than it will be miniature related. Yeah, strong tape. Crumpled note. Hello, I just threw a bunch of random stuff in here. I'm clearing out space so this is two birds with one stone. There are a lot of examples of cheap miniatures that I found in the past. I'm sure there will be at least a couple things you can find a use for. Feel free to trash or give away stuff you can't use. Some of the pre-painted factory seconds are missing parts, but you might find a crafting use for them. Thanks again for all the great videos, Blanco. P.S. I threw in a prototype mini in the small white box. Cool, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. This box has a lot of stuff in it. Okay, we got a bag full of various minis in different types of plastics. Take a look at that in detail in a second. I kind of want to just generally get this stuff out and then we'll look at the individual parts. Got these uh, elemental type creatures. I'm, I'm assuming this is Skylanders or, or, I don't know, it says Blizzard. Maybe this is a World of Warcraft thing. Either way, some cool translucent elemental type miniatures individually wrapped geez went all out here oh we got some stuff on cues okay so this i don't know what this is there's some kind of beast and wheels maybe this is some kind of a cart i assume this is a warhammer thing a bunch of shields i, I i'm guessing this is a is this a Warhammer thing? I don't know. I'm not sure, but it's there. What is in here? Oh, a bunch of little individual bags. Okay, we got a metal figure. This looks to be some kind of a, a troll with a wooden club. Pretty nice. Nice mini metal. And inside we got these weird pioneer dudes that are... What the heck? Okay, you gotta see this. They're like weird little Davy Crockett dudes with guns and very strange proportions. I don't know, what is this? Can't even read the name. Really strange. And then there's some more metal figures here. Goblins, a couple goblins, archers. These must be older because this is when the sculpts were really flat. You know, all those old Ralpartha sculpts that were really squished and flat. They weren't really three-dimensional. These kind of have that vibe to them. So I don't know if they're old, but they have that sort of same feel. Ah, uh, here is the Star Wars toy we're talking about. So this Star Wars toy comes with this monster that is just ripe for modifying for D&D. And I had found this mini on sale at Canadian Tire for $5 Canadian. And I was in a bad mood that day and I just didn't want to deal with it and I didn't buy it. And I should have, because now this toy 
everywhere I've seen locally is back up to a dumb retail full price of like 20 or 30 bucks. But uh, Caleb had bought in a few and got one here. So this is what started this box. So thanks again, Caleb. And then here, Alchemy. Maybe minis from game Alchemy that I don't know anything about. But if those are the minis inside, they're pretty neat. Comes with some cards for the game. But more importantly, got two miniatures uh, of these pretty neat looking I don't know what you'd call them. They're kind of orcish. This one, I don't know, really unique looking monsters. I like them quite a bit, actually. Got a cool tribal feel. Don't know anything about the game, but that doesn't matter because I won't be playing the game. I'll just be using the minis. Oh, these are cool. These are cool. These are color changing uh, ice cubes. He had done a video on these because they make excellent uh, gel baby gelatinous cubes and they light up and change colors, but they're meant to go in a drink. So you got to make a water connection. I don't know, I might have to actually put it in water. A little bit of spit on the finger is not enough. Baby gelatinous cubes, totally cool. And there's a little white box there, so I think that's his prototype mini. I'm gonna leave that for last. What is in this box? I wonder if it's actually this thing or if it's full of random other stuff. Oh, it actually is this thing. Oh, those are really neat. Let me try to open this. What is this from? Siege Engines of Rome, Arcane Legions. So we got these two cool siege engines. These are fantastic. These are really cool. These are really, really, really neat. <laughs> I love these. These are awesome. I'm anxious to see what's inside this little white box. Make sure there's nothing else. Open with care. So he said it's a prototype mini. So I'm assuming this is a thing he's doing himself. Maybe his own sculpt or cast. I think that's just padding. Oh, there's a. Oh, it is the famous baby Albert. If you've watched his videos, you know this little dude. He often makes an appearance. He closes out the videos. This guy is awesome. Thank you for watching the video. Is what he, what he says. That is really nice. That is gonna have a special place in my collection. Let's dump out this bag of random little minis. I assume these are the Chinese factory seconds that he mentioned. Basically factory screw ups that he buys in bulk and cheap. So what do we got here? We got these two Pegasus, Pegasi. What's the plural of Pegasus? Pegasi, Pegasuses? Either way, got two of those, got this Weird bird warrior dude with some with a sword. Another one in the same plastic, kind of samurai looking guy. Scale's a little bit big on those ones. These three, they look like orcs. These are really good minis. I like these quite a lot, actually. The face on this guy is awesome. He's got that classic hobgoblin kind of face. Really like those. I'd actually like to find out what they're from. And then we got these three berserker looking warriors that are also really nice. I have a feeling maybe these are Russian minis. I've seen Russian minis that were similar to these before on these bases. But if these are factory seconds, I mean, they look, they look great to me. They're going to paint up just fine. And two more Asian inspired heroes, two female warriors. Again, the scale's a little bit big on these ones. And then we got some, I don't know, ghoul kind of knights. I think Warrior White. These are actual licensed figures that are, I guess, probably missing a shield by the looks of it. And this looks like a knoll and a snake dude. Uh, Wanti, perhaps. Wanti, yep. And then we got these three little Cthulhu dudes, which is awesome. These will make, I'm just gonna paint these up like statues. These will definitely just be dungeon adornments. There's a little base here with a skull and some eggs. And I have a feeling that Caleb sculpted this himself. This looks like a hand sculpted piece. And lastly, what I've been most excited about in this little bag are these tiny dudes here. They are these little lizard dudes that would make excellent kobolds I like these a lot. These are probably my favorite thing in the bag. So overall, a ridiculous haul of free goodies from Caleb. He, uh, like you said, clearing out stuff, giving me lots of cool stuff. And I think this is an excellent lesson in how you handle your own 
collection. We all have a tendency to buy a ton of stuff and hold on to it and it doesn't all get used and we just sit on it forever. It's almost, it almost can weigh us down in a sense. And I think it's good once in a while to purge and go through the things that you know you will never use or never paint and give them away to someone else. And they can go through it and they will get a lot of enjoyment out of some of it, maybe some of it they won't, and then they pass it on. So I'm definitely gonna make use of a bunch of this stuff, paint it up, and I'm gonna put aside a bunch of it to give away because we've been doing on the Tabletop Crafters Guild uh, these guild build challenges and we often have prizes so i'll save some for that this stuff eventually will all find excellent homes this was really really fun to unbox and i didn't build the thing i was supposed to be building right now because i couldn't resist opening and filming this instead I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and let me know in the comments below. Thanks again to Caleb from Blonco for hooking me up with this sweet surprise box to open up. It was super fun to do. If you wanna check out his channel and his videos on cheap minis, I will put a link in the video description below. That's it for this one, guys. Make sure to tune in on Friday for the next build video. See you guys there. Cheers.